Okay, good morning everyone. Um, welcome to this accounting lesson for today. Uh, today I have decided that we do an accounting past exam paper which is taken from November 2020. It's accounting paper 1, November 2022 exam. Uh, the question that I decided that we need to start with is question 3. May I request that you all take out your November 2020 paper 1 question papers so that you may see whatever that we are discussing from your question papers. Um, the question that I'm going to be starting with is question 3. Why specifically question 3 is that the observation from the past results, it has shown that most of the students are not doing well in these questions which requires interpretation. So question three is basically interpretation of financial statements. And unfortunately, most students, they were used to doing accounting calculations only. But accounting has now changed. We now have interpretation of financial statements where one is required to interpret, analyze and make sure that the decisions that are taken are financially informed and they are well calculated. Question 3.1, it says choose the question from column B that matches a category of financial indicators in column A. Write only the letter A to E next to the question numbers 3.1.1 to 3.1.4 in the answer book. So we have got four questions here. And there are three, there are four accounting concepts. There is liquidity, there is risk and gearing, there is return to shareholders and operating efficiency. So liquidity, which is 3.1.1, it matches with a description in column B, which is, if you look at the options that are given here, there is an option which is option C, which says liquidity, will the company be able to pay off its current debt? I hope you, you, you all remember that there is liquidity and solvency. Solvency deals with the ability of the company to pay for the total debt, but liquidity deals with only the current debts. Remember, the total debts are made up of current debts plus non-current debts. So, but when we are looking at liquidity, we are only looking at the current debts only. So now, if you look at the option C, which says, will the company be able to pay off its current debts, this is the best option. This is the correct answer for 3.1.1. So the correct answer for 3.1.1, which is liquidity, Will the company be able to pay off the current? That is C. And 3.1.2, risk and gear. Risk and gearing has got to do with loans, the borrowings, the long-term borrowings of the company. The company. So if you look at the best option for 3.1.2, it is option E, where it says how the, is the company managing loans or borrowed capital. So the correct answer for 3.1.2 is E. That is E. 3.1.3, we are looking at the return to shareholders. Remember, the, the shareholders are the owners of the company. They, how do you then become a shareholder in the company? You need to buy shares from the company. So now we are now looking at what is it that they are going to get in return. So the return to shareholders. So if you look at the option, that is best suited for 3.1.3. It is option B in your question papers there, which says, is the investment in the company better than investing in a fixed deposit? Remember, when, when, when the shareholders are looking at their return from their investments in the company, they need to make a comparison. Is what I'm getting more than enough than what I can get if I may decide to go for a fixed deposit? So the return on investment, so this option, which is option B, is a better option or is the correct answer for 3.1.3, the return to shareholders. And then 3.1.4, we are looking at the operating efficiency. 
is the business managing expenses effectively to increase profitability, that is operating efficiency. So therefore the best option for 3.1.4 is option A, which says is the business managing expenses effectively to increase profitability, that is 3.1.4, that is A. So if we re-look at the answers, the answer to 3.1.1 is C, 3.1.2 is E, 3.1.3 is B, and 3.1.4 is A. And that gives you a total of 4 marks. Right, we are now proceeding to question 3.2, which is Sky Fi Creeks Limited, the 